starting the exercise in the usual way, eyes open, and some nice big deep breath. Our own feelings of disquiet or discomfort, challenging situations in life, whatever it might be, not judging, stepping back, and some nice big deep breath. It's more than just being kind, not criticizing. To experience that difficulty and some nice big deep breath. Whatever it might be. I tried to film this video already, so I might use clips from that. I haven't gone through the footage, but I know that was really rushed. Hopefully I can fill in a bit of the gaps right now. My OMS symptoms ha did start to get w w worse for a little bit. So uh, the specialist I am seeing did have me up my steroid dose. So, so, since we upped the dose, um, I'm having these like really strong allergies. Oh, I feel like crap. <laughs> also in part why we haven't made a second video or a second video, a follow-up video. This would be the sixth, sixth one. <laughs> gross um that is a fun word to say with a lisp we are looking at changing my line of treatment we're only staying on the steroids as long as we need to so i do have an appointment with an allergist set up that was scheduled a long time ago we're upping the steroid dose until that allergy appointment she wants to switch me to either ivig or rituxan um ivig if you missed the earlier videos it's a medication I've taken before and I did respond well to in the hospital, but I was having headaches at the time. It's unclear if it's related to the IVIG or the morphine because I had like a super weird reaction to morphine. Um, not a good drug for me. Anyways, if I start to have headaches with the IVIG, she'll switch me over to Rituxan or if my insurance does not approve the IVIG medication, which is super possible, yeah, she just anticipates it being a problem for some reason. All in all, my insurance has been like mostly doing its job. This specialist that I am seeing, it's crazy. Healthcare in America is so messed up expensive. Before insurance, talking with the specialist I'm seeing for 30 minutes would be $10,000. <laughs> Which the best part is though, it's like my insurance, you know, they covered it. But then they still sent me a bill for three dollars which at that point i'm like come on now can you, can you just get it can we call it good like it's kind of like if i went out to lunch with a friend and my meal was twenty dollars and two cents and i just had a twenty dollar bill and i was like hey here and then like a week later they were like hey so um this is awkward but uh you owe me two cents it's getting a little cold Woo! yeah i have bangs now that was a mistake and by that i don't mean like i hate them or anything but just that i genuinely didn't mean to get them i was having some uh tr tremors and i just happened to be trimming my hair and i accidentally like pooped. bangs were the only way i could potentially save what i did i impulsively cut bangs like annually i was so close to making it a full year no snip if my if my brain won't do it my body will i <laughs> destined to have bangs sidetracked ivig or rituxan um rituxan is a type of chemotherapy which kind of freaks me out i i d do believe it is more mild of as far as chemotherapy drugs go. So if we do have to go that route, hopefully it doesn't suck. <laughs> I'm like complaining about the steroids here and meanwhile, that's the other option. Editing Lizzie here. I had some kind of weird technical difficulties with the mic and lost a ton of footage. So I, it's gonna be all over the place. I'm going to occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy. I think that's it right now. And then I have like my spe specialist. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about some, some of the things we, I've done in occupational therapy because occupational therapy is so fun. <laughs> I feel like all of the exercises they give me feel like games. I have this chart, which I tried to show you, but there's no, 
audio. For each symbol, I had to either hit my right hand, left hand, or both hands on the table. like here is this circle thing each circle like you can just lift it up i had to go across each row and i had to pick the circles up with my left hand and then put them down with my right hand just like that and then with each row we would switch so right hand flip left all the way and then left hand flip right I, I wish I took a video of me doing these. It's just like, I feel insecure asking a doctor to record me doing my exercises. <laughs> it, it, it just was really interesting to see. It really did bring out my ataxia. Uh, I noticed my, my right hand tremored very significantly more than my left hand. So that's that. I am trying to kind of <laughs> recreate one of the exercises that she had me do. She had a yardstick and a bunch of these clippy things, except for they weren't so wide. I had to pick them up and put them on the even numbers. Here, I just have a puzzle box. I have to pull out the clips and clip them. Jesus. And that happens a lot because I have problems. There we go. So one thing that was really interesting to me with this is I did do a pretty good job putting them on, but when I would go to take the clip, I, would, I guess I was like stopping and like hovering a little. And that's something I've had to be really mindful of getting back to climbing. When I would do a dynamic move, I would pause right in front of the hold and like my hand would shake and then I'd have to be like, grab. <laughs> I guess I was doing the same thing. So she was like, try to do it, not necessarily fast, but just really fluidly. And when I was trying to do that, I would just like miss. Hello. I was gonna go outside with my dog, but actually I need to call Boulder Orthopedics. So um, I have some hip problems. I have hip dysplasia and also my femur is rotated weird which is why I'm very flexible this way, not so much this way. Um, I'll try to take a better example video. So I tore my labrum in my hip earlier this year. It's caused me immense pain and I need to get like hip reconstructive surgery. You can see here my hip doesn't fully sit in the socket. The first surgery they would, I guess, take my pelvis and like twist it back and then put some screws in. And then once I'm recovered from there, um, the second surgery, they would fix the torn labrum, which I have on this side and potentially do some bone shaving. And I'm not really sure after that, but. There is a significant risk of this triggering another OMS flare up, which is really scary. Life's just scary right now. But anyways, it's, um, it's a multi-surgery process and, you know, since they're going in there to fix my labrum so I can sleep pain-free again, we are gonna try to address all of those issues. Yeah, so I need to get off of the steroid medication, which, thank God, I hate it. They inhibit wound healing. Um, also, they make me insane. It's, it, I'm just a bit of a bitch um, at the high dose. Everything is irritating. I've met with the first surgeon, but I still need to meet with the second. I do have these issues on my right side as well, but because I'm not having any pain at this time, we're gonna we're gonna wait till it's a problem to operate there. But now that I know about these problems, um, I am really excited to talk to my physical therapist. And as you can see, the audio issues. 
Um, all I was gonna say here was I'm excited to talk to my physical therapist because having hip dysplasia in this femur rotation makes it really easy to put a lot of stress on tissues that are not designed to take that kind of stress. I don't really know if this is possible, but hopefully he can teach me some ways that I can move and stretch that are healthier with my structural differences. Awesome. Um, cool. Love that. It is time for me to move. For some activity today, uh, Mochi and I are just exploring the woods. There she is. Oh! For some reason, that song that's like, you gotta fight for your right to... take a minute to rest and give you another part of my treatment update. I, I did recently apply to go to the Mayo Clinic. There's just a, a lot of things happening that no one can explain still and that I think might just be the next step for me. Um, I, I told a friend of mine and he told me to apply to this clinic too and was like you need to put together a written report of everything. It really helps. I was just thinking like, I've logged a lot of this, but but it's all been video. And I just, <laughs> I love the idea of there being some like really incredibly well-educated doctor. Someone you don't waste time with. Having to sit down and watch my videos of me complaining plasma phoresis to cheese making. And there's that whole physical therapy montage. <laughs> it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful image. I have started speech therapy. You may notice my stutter is what gone. That's actually not because of speech therapy. I just couldn't get into a speech therapist until that naturally went away. It is still there some days. I just chose to film this on a day where my stutter wasn't too bad. I'm sure you could understand why. I went to OT and speech therapy on the same day and it was super weird. We did a bunch of like vagus nerve stimulation stuff and it kind of just felt like meditating and I was like, what? There is a stuttering support group. I am so exc excited to go to this. This is gonna be the funniest shit I've ever gone to. And I'm <laughs> My OT gave me this nice little chart I guess the goal of the vagus nerve stimulation stuff is to just calm my nervous system. I've had uh, so many doctors and just like people ask if I meditate. I actually do, like almost every day. We miss days sometimes, but I don't think it's the type of thing you should do for the sake of maintaining a streak. I've been getting a uh, some facial tics, which are really uncomfortable. <laughs> My mouth likes to like do that, but it just keeps doing it. <laughs> and then sometimes I get angry eyebrows too, uh, which is really odd to watch someone rapidly furrow their eyebrows. I tried to take a video for the specialist when that happened. Hey, what's up girl? Just uh, this, my new symptoms. Definitely the most intense episode of facial taking I had started to happen during my first speech th therapy appointment. I was moving my mask back and forth like this on a table, just sliding it, doing that while talking, and my tremors were pretty bad that day. And then out of nowhere, my face just started like freaking out. And so I tried to take a video, and like as soon as that, like I noticed, I was watching that happening, I just like burst out laughing, and all the facial tics stopped. But then I was like, wait, no. <laughs> My doctors received a handful of odd videos from me like that. Yeah, I'm dealing with that. I still have tremors. Uh, honestly, the most limiting thing I deal with right now is I fatigue extremely quickly. So while I am capable of doing almost everything I could b before, it just doesn't fit, feel the same. It's a lot harder to do. Yeah, once that fatigue builds up, I. I tremor, I stutter more, I sleep for like 12 hours. 
that's my life right now. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah, sorry it took me so long to make an update. Um, and also sorry this one isn't uh, terribly entertaining or funny. I try to, I try to throw a little flair in there. Um, but yeah, the, the energy has just been low, but I really do feel like I'm starting to pick back up. I'll keep you guys updated, just um, one day at a time. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, Jesus. I'm so Damn, I hope that shot was worth it. <laughs> Everywhere.